You ever ask yourself that simple question, what is it that would make you happy? Only to realize the answer is just not that simple. Let's go. Let's go, it is Drew with Trust the Process. You know, I, I haven't made a video over in this field in quite some time, I kinda like it over here. It's, it's a little loud, cause it's like right by the interstate over here, but at least I don't have to worry about like anybody walking past me. And right now I'm just, you know, some days I don't really care if people are walking past me, but I'm just not in that mode right now. Being my typical kind of introvert self, which, which I need to break away from, you know, but. It'd be like that sometimes. But I've asked myself this question like many times, right? What is it, what is it that would make me happy, you know? And, and I think about how I've answered that question in the past. I think about the things that I've done thinking that that would somehow make me happy, you know? And you ask people, you know, what is it that it would make you happy? And some people, they'll give you that standard, you know, like, oh, give me a million dollars or, if I win the lottery, you know, that that would somehow make you happy. Although it's been proven that, that that's not true. As you get older, you clearly start to recognize the fact that money does not equal happiness. So then what is it, right? Because you think that, you know, if you're overweight, you think that if you lose weight, that you'll be happy, right? And as you're losing weight and people are giving you compliments, you get that endorphin rush, you know, but but once you get to that goal weight or once you plateau, right, then, <clears throat> then you're not getting that constant feedback, you know? And, and it seems as though no matter how much weight you lose, once you hit that point, right, even if it is the end, right, even if it is that final spot, like you hit your goal weight, that even then, you won't find happiness in that. Again, in the moment, right, you hit that goal weight, you're, you're happy, you're ecstatic, but, but then it's a struggle. And anyone who's battled weight will attest to that, right? It's just, it is what it is. You, you look at pictures, right, and you'll be like, man, like, I look so good at that point in my life, yet at that point in my life, I didn't think I looked good, you know? Especially if you've gained weight. You know, like how many people out there have gained weight? They look back at a picture and go, man, like I looked really good. But at the time, maybe you thought you needed to lose more weight. It's just, it's just how it is, you know? Think that buying that outfit, that that's gonna make you happy. The car, the house the relationship. None of that is going to make you happy. It's got to come, it's got to come from within. I just blanked out here. Um, the lead singer from Linkin Park. There was an interview with him or a video, I don't know if it was an interview, but it was somebody talking with him just prior to him committing suicide. And he was talking about his emotions and and how his struggles were all from within and that he had to try to find a way to, to get, out of, get outside of his own head. Because ultimately that's all it is. All of our problems are from within. And and some don't understand just how difficult it is because, because when you're struggling, there are times when, when somebody can ask you what's wrong and you don't even, like you have no definitive answer. I don't even know what to tell you what's wrong because I don't even know what's wrong. There are days when I mean, I, I mean, I can tell you the problems that I've been through in my life, right? I can whine about everything that I've gone through, but in this moment, what's wrong? 
sure I, I have issues, right? Sure, like, you know, things aren't, you know, rainbows and unicorns, but, but man, there's somebody right now, they'd give anything to be in my spot. So what's wrong? I, I'm pretty sure I referenced this before, but it was like this quadriplegian that was like being interviewed and somebody was like, man, like, how can you be so happy? And he was like, well, I got a better question. How can somebody with both their arms and both their legs be upset? It was like <laughs> this statistic, that, again, this is the internet, right? But, but it said that quadriplegians were on average happier than individuals who had won the lottery. I mean, come on, like, it, you know, you ask most people, like, how is that even possible? So what is it that makes you happy? And it's not an easy answer. It really isn't. If it were that easy, then the ones that are struggling out there would have just, hey, <laughs> that's all it is? Okay, I'm happy now. But it's gotta start from within, I know that much. I know that it has to start from, from inside of you and then everything else will kind of shift around you, you know? That's why the, the happiest people are the ones that attract the best relationships. It's, you know, it's the, the old saying, like the rich get richer. It's the mindset, you know? They're not out there searching for the money. The money is just coming to them. They're not out there searching for the relationship. The relationship's coming to them. You know, when you're constantly focused on what you don't have and wanting it, the universe is like, all right, you're putting off an energy of I don't have, I don't have. Things aren't good and you just attract more of I don't have and things aren't good. Again, some people are just gonna think that's crazy talk, but whatever. So anyways, ask yourself, ask yourself, what is it that would make you happy and not just for the moment right what would make you happy long term and I truly believe that if it's something bigger than you if it's something bigger than you then that's where you find the happiness I hear that all the time, you know, these, these motivational speakers, they talk about that. And I get lost in it myself, right? I get lost in, in sometimes my channel and what I wanna do here. I get lost in, in my personal goals, right? And, and trying to obtain things because yes, I love my Prius, man, but, but I want that car, right? There's this car that I've got a vision of right now and I want it. There's this house that I've got this vision of and I want it. But I understand that those things, that's not, I'm not wanting those things to make me happy. And sometimes I get lost when I'm thinking about that and I have to remind myself of what's really important. What is it that I'm really trying to do with this channel? Because what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to search for the people, not only that are, that are broken, right? that are hurting, that are struggling, but that want to be helped. Because there's a difference. There's a difference between the ones out there who are living Instagram happy, right? And they're perfectly content. They're perfectly content with showing the world one thing and then in the background being something different. And I don't want to be that way. I want to make real authentic videos where I show that, you know what, I've got my moments, I struggle, I battle. There are days when I wake up 
and I get so mad at myself because I know that the first eight minutes are so important. I know that when I wake up that the first eight minutes of my life, I need to be thanking God for everything that I have. That when I look into my kids' rooms and I see them, yeah, I'm upset because maybe they should have their alarm set and they should already be up, but I thank God that they're there and that they're breathing, that they're not out on the streets doing something stupid. And then guess what? I have a house to live in. And guess what? When I walk out that front door, I've got a car to get in. And when I get in that car, I've got a job to go to. And when I get to that job, that there are people there that I care about, that care about me. And then I can pick up my phone and I can text somebody that I care about and that they'll respond back to me and tell me that they care about me as well. That I can hit my mom up and tell her that I love her that I can call my dad knowing that he's gonna get excited, even though I don't call him enough, that he's gonna get excited and pick up the phone. I've got so many things to be grateful for, so why is it that in the first eight minutes I can't wake up and just go, thank you God for everything that you've given me? Instead, I wake up with this sense of anxiety, like, oh my goodness, like, I don't have my day planned out, right? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna take care of this? I've still gotta handle that. And I start going in a thousand different directions instead of thanking God for what I have. I didn't even intend for this video to go in that direction, but somehow it did. I honestly, sometimes when I make a video, I don't even know where I'm gonna go with the video. I just go with it. I'm gonna keep grinding, I'm gonna keep moving forward. I always trust the process. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out.